Barcelona has thousands of restaurants and tapa bars, but there is one place that stands out above all the rest. It's Los Caracoles. It's the oldest continuously family-operated restaurant in Barcelona, in existence from 1835, now operated by the fifth generation of the family that started it. It's one of the most famous restaurants in town. Great food, a historic atmosphere, with a traditional Catalan Mediterranean cuisine. The waiters carry many plates at a time to deliver the goods. Although it's a large restaurant, the service is extremely efficient. Coming up in a moment, we'll take you on a tour of the restaurant with Aurora, one of the fifth generation family members who are operating the restaurant today. We'll show you the dining rooms, the kitchen, the foods, and take you behind the scenes. You enter the restaurant through the open kitchen. It's been like this for over a century, way ahead of the new trend of open kitchens that you can see from the dining room. At dinner, it's a very busy place. And now let's have Aurora tell you all about it. We are in the old town near the Ramblas. This is street, the name is Escudellés. And on the, on the right, the Plaza Real, very famous also. Uh-huh. Los Caracoles. When you first walk in the restaurant, it looks very small. When you came to the restaurant, it looks a bar and, and nothing more. <laughs> but if you come inside and you see the kitchen, after you see all the dining rooms and messy, you know, what, what, it's very big and the people didn't know. It's, they think that there's a, a tavern. <laughs> uh, we have 250 seats, uh, it's very big. What kind of food do you have? Okay, we have a Catalan and Mediterranean food. Um, we have uh, paellas, uh, lobster paellas. Not just paella, but four kinds of paella. Cod and rice. And rice, paella. paella. This is paella, paella with mussels. We have cod, we have also fish, seafood, and meat, sack and pig, roast kid. Uh, and you have the grilled chicken outside, yes, you have the, the chicken, chicken rotisserie. You can see behind me the uh, chickens, roast chicken, the palm of roast chickens. He put oil on the top. Uh -huh. uh, and nobody in Barcelona uh, does the chicken like that. And oh. all the people come here to see the kitchen. See the chicken, yeah. <laughs> uh, uh, mm -hmm. He's very famous, this chicken. That's all I needed to see for my choice of dinner. It's got to be the rotisserie chicken. And it was perfect. And we have, have also very famous the bouillabaisse. The bouillabaisse oh, yeah. are very famous. Uh -huh. Bouillabaisse soup. Bouillabaisse with uh, lobster. Lobster, prawns, uh, monkfish, bread with thyme, ali oli. It's a sauce with garlic. Lobster. Yes, and fish. Fish. Mussels with sauce. Uh -huh. oh, beautiful. Very beautiful. This is cuttlefish. Oh, wow. Well. Well, how many plates are you carry? Four, five, six. These waiters are incredible. And half the tables are upstairs. There's no dumb waiter. It's all food runners. They bring them right up, direct from the kitchen to your table, not wasting time. This is an old restaurant as Aurora fills us in on a little bit of the history. The restaurant was born in 1835. The restaurant is very, very old. I am the fifth generation from the restaurant and he's always the same family. You are five generations? Yes. Great, great grandfather? Yes. Uh, my, my, my grandfather liked uh, to cook and he's always in, in the kitchen. There, my father is on the right. We have an open kitchen. Two centuries, this kitchen. <laughs> <laughs> we have a big sirloin steak. Big. Charcoal grill. 41 years here. 41 he years. He worked here wow. at Los Caracoles, 41 years. That's He's great. very, very good chef. Fantastic. <laughs> Beautiful. <laughs> you work with my father. <laughs> in the evening, people come streaming in continuously. We'll give you some tips in a moment about how to get reservations. They serve up beer the old-fashioned way with a hand pump. 
old pump. Oh. We are open all the day, non-stop. We begin at one o'clock and we finish at 12 at night. Wow, <laughs> long day. <laughs> yes, and never holidays. For lunch time, we are not very busy and it's possible to come here without reservation. Just walk in. It's, it's uh, not, not busy. And, but for dinner, uh, we have always a lot of reservations and uh -huh. we have big groups also. Yeah. And it's uh, better to have a reservation. A reservation. Okay. Yeah, show me the pages. Yes. Of all these reservations. Every night, very busy. <laughs> That's amazing. Locals and some famous personalities eat in this restaurant, but it's mostly tourists, which proves that some restaurants that are so-called touristic can be fantastic. It is the perennial challenge for the tourists to find an authentic local restaurant. But at Los Caracoles, you have got the real thing. More food, salad with sardines. The foods are coming fast and furious out of the kitchen, and I'm there for you to describe what's happening and keep up with this dynamic action of the cooks and the waiters bringing the food out to the customers. Next up, we've got some chicken croquettes. And brunch. Oysters. Oysters. What is that? Chicken with garlic. A signature dish, special snails, because the name of the restaurant, Caracoles, means snails. The food is delivered directly from the kitchen to the table by these fast working waiters. It's express service here at Caracoles. Cazpacho, cazpacho strawberry with lamb stick. Wow. So you pour that inside? Yes. Pod with vegetables. Wow. One of the favorite warm starters is sauteed vegetables. Romesco sauce. Romesco is a traditional Catalan sauce made with roasted tomatoes, garlic, nora peppers, almonds, and hazelnuts. Cannelloni? Cannelloni. Garlic shrimp. They've developed a very efficient system of sending orders from the table to the waiter to the kitchen, which can be a challenge on a night with a couple hundred customers ordering several courses and wanting quick service. Aurora, tell me, what are you doing now? Okay, uh, the waiters uh, take the order to the client and this order begins here and I, I, I speak in, in the voice. I speak with the kitchen and I ask for the dishes that the client order. So it's all wireless, direct from the table to yes. you. <laughs> Instant. <Okay>. Wow. <laughs> Aurora plays many roles at the restaurant. She's part owner with her family and she's the hostess, she takes reservations, gives tours of the restaurant, manages public relations, and she has lots of help from her excellent staff. There's a dozen cooks in the kitchen at all times. As you might expect in a five generation restaurant, the employees are loyal. They've been here for a long time, working very efficiently together. The restaurant is proud of the many famous people who have eaten here over the years, stars of all kinds. Um, we have a very famous people coming here, uh, Picasso, the painter, oh. Dali, and I show you if you want the picture. Uh, President of the United States, uh, Jimmy Carter, comes here with his family and he eats chicken, <laughs> our <laughs> chicken, and he likes it uh, a lot. Hundreds of pictures on the wall remind you that you are dining in a historic site. It's the second oldest restaurant in Barcelona, but it's the oldest continuously family operated restaurant in the city from 1835. Various private rooms can handle large groups who can dine in comfort and carry on conversations in a more sheltered environment. 
As you've seen, the restaurant is quite large, but most of the dining rooms are smaller, creating a casual and cozy atmosphere, enhancing the feeling of personal attention that you'll be getting from the waiters. In business nearly 200 years, they've really figured out how to keep the customer happy. You'll find the menu has a nice variety of traditional dishes, many of which you have just seen, and the price is quite reasonable for the quality that you're getting. Easy to find, it's right in Barcelona's Gothic Quarter, a block from the Plaza Real and La Rambla, and not far from the cathedral, maybe a five or 10 minute walk anywhere in the Gothic Quarter will get you to Los Caracoles. We upload a new movie every week, so please subscribe to our channel, then you'll be notified. And if you enjoyed the movie, how about a thumbs up, and we always welcome comments down below. It really helps us spread the word. Thank you.